This is weird. This is friggin' weird. Well, this is supposed to be my first official review on my new YouTube page named The Bourbon Santa. Um, who am I? Why am I The Bourbon Santa? Well, I got that nickname because I tend to give away more bourbon than I end up drinking. I love helping other people find hard to find bourbons and get to try them for the first time and really enjoy them and dig into them. And, and, and sometimes I enjoy them just seeing what all the hype's about, you know, and, and trying a bourbon that some people hunt their whole lives for and really not all that great, but they get to figure that out and, and learn what they really like. And I, I love that. I love the exploration of the whiskey world. Um, I rarely have the same bourbon that I'll drink over and over again, or the same scotch. I love exploring. I love trying new tastes. I love getting out there and hunting. The hunt is, is one of my favorite parts of the whiskey world. Anyway, so my name is Austin Hubbard. I've been given the nickname the Bourbon Santa, and some people are encouraging me to, to start a YouTube page, and here we are. So today, we are going to be trying two different bottles of Blanton's head to head. They were poured exactly one year apart on uh, June 8th, 2019 and June 8th, 2020. And we're going to try them, compare them to each other and see which one is the bigger tater. Some people say America. Well, it certainly smells like Blanton's. Sounds like Blanton's. 2020. Oh, oh, this one has a slightly different nose. I can tell a little difference already right out of the bottom. Definitely a noticeable difference between the two. Obviously different barrels, two different years of, of dump date, um, but obviously very different barrels. Obviously the same warehouse, all warehouse H for Buffalo Trace. The 2019 has slightly more ethanol. The 2020 is a little rounder, a little sweeter. Um, there's a little bit more brown sugar pushing towards the top. It definitely, 2020 smells a lot sweeter than 2019. I mean, you got all your standard bourbon notes in a Blanton's, of course. You know, everybody, everybody's had bourbon before. Blanton's is a middle-of-the-road bourbon. It's hunted for because of the bottle, not because of the juice. And I was lucky enough to end up with these two, amazingly enough, exactly one year apart. And I've been saving a Blanton's for a giveaway that I want to do, a Mashville number no. two giveaway, blind, one bunch of blind flights that I want to give away. But when I ended up with the second bottle, the same dump date, a year apart, I wanted to compare them and see which one is better. All right, let's try these. We're going to try 2019 first. Okay, a little bit more of that ethanol does come through on the taste. A little bit of a little bit of, of huggy hug in the chest. Finishes medium, just like any other uh, blends. A um, little bit of rye starts to pop up in the back. No big deal though. It's not it's not too spicy. It's very middle of the road spice level. That, to me, it tastes like pretty much every other Blanton's that I've ever tried before. Blanton's is not one of my favorites. Um, 
It's not even one of my favorites of Mash Bill number two. It's to me, it's a very generic, um, kind of boring, middle of the road bourbon. I'm just never blown away by any that I've had so far. Let's move on to 2020. I'm almost getting a nutty aspect on this one. Oh, okay. Okay. This 2020 one is a, is a lot more easy to drink. Um, it doesn't have that strong ethanol note at all. There's zero burn on that. It just, it was like butter and, and, and just caramel and just, Smooth and pretty. Oh, you know what? I think that's the best bottle of blends that I've ever had. This reminds me um, a little more of, of Elmer, a little more of Rock Hill Farms. I wonder if they messed up. <laughs> the 2020 is clearly superior to the 2019, which is so funny because these are aged in the same warehouse, different ricks, you know, different locations in that warehouse, but same warehouse, same distillate, same maturation period, dumped on the same day, one year apart. Um, obviously climate differences between those two years can have an effect. Um, but when they're going through and sorting those barrels and deciding which barrels at a warehouse age are going to be Blanton's and other things, sometimes they make a little mistakey mistake and put a honey barrel into a Blanton's bottle. That's good. Well, anyway. Really interesting to find out. I'm going to revisit these again um, later once they open up a little bit and see if that holds true. I'm, I'm actually very impressed. This is the first bottle of Blanton's that I've actually really enjoyed. So this was fun. Weird, awkward, strange making a video for the first time. I, I did a previous video for the, the only five bourbons that you need in your collection. And that was a fun thing just for, for the um, group that I was in. And it kind of spurred me to do this. And But actually doing it for real is very strange. So anyway, it'll be fun. Join me in this journey. We'll have some fun. We'll drink some cool bourbons together. And uh, there will be some cool giveaways. Have a good day.